Alright guys, listen up. Wait for it. Activision is worse than Voldemort. Shh. Hello, hello, hello. It's been a while since we've done one of these, but I think I'll do another one since the new season is here, and even though I'm a bit late to the party, I know, I still wanted to give my thoughts on the back in time Grand Prix nevertheless. For this race, I'm choosing my new main baby T. And just to flex a little, I'm going to be using the champion car to represent how much of an alpha gamer I am. Couldn't care less for the decals, and I'm not going to grind to get to the top 5% this season. As long as I have the champion card itself, well, I'm happy. It looks nice, unlike Crunch from Titans. But my question to you is, what do you think of the season so far? For me, I'm actually really enjoying it. It's a bit glitchy with the challenges sometimes, and I don't know why. But otherwise, from that, it's actually going pretty well. But the prehistoric playground track is actually really cool. Better than Twilight Tour, in my opinion, though it still doesn't break the top 10 tracks of mine. Uh, check that video out if you haven't already. Another shameless plug for myself. <laughs> but I do like how it has all the, you know, cliffside racing to the, you know, the jungle section with all the fake dinosaurs, and then the caves with that big chicken in the middle, you know what I mean. Yeah, the track is really cool nevertheless and has a really cool concept. In terms of characters, I am really surprised that Baby Cortex and Baby Entropy were added alongside Baby Crash and Coco because, you know, the other two were actual characters in the Crash series. Uh, Baby Crash though, he looks decent enough. I don't use him because he's a turning character. Baby Coco is an abomination <laughs> and I've never used her. She's really ugly and I'm getting smashed with every single power up in this race so far and you know that makes me feel good. It really does. Baby T um, is as adorable as ever and is it just me? Or is Baby T, like, he, does he look better here than he did in the Insane Trilogy? Or is that just me? I, I don't know. Might have to let me know on that one. I actually haven't unlocked Baby T as a, that, that, fa that fake Baby T, is that what it's called? Fake Baby T? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what, what it's called. I'm nearly there. I'm, like, literally one bar away, like, a couple thousand uh, Nitro points. Here, what you can do here, I figured this out by myself, and I'm so proud of it. When the warp orb is going up the spiral, jump down to the lower section of the spiral, and it'll go right past you to the person in front of you. It's genius. And I did that because I wanted to get the super boost, and if the warp orb hit me, I wouldn't be able to get it. So, yeah, nice bit of knowledge from Danko himself. <laughs> in terms of uh, microtransactions, I did say in one of my previous videos that I wasn't angry about it, uh, I'm still not. I'm just really disappointed that a remake of a 20-year-old game has fallen victim to Activision's money-hungry billionaires. But yeah, I did get a bit frustrated when I saw that bundle of the pit stop that costed around 10,000 Wumper Coins, was it? And it didn't even feature wheels. Like, it was a cool uh, bundle, don't get me wrong. It was a cool crash skin and a cool cart. But yeah, it was just 10,000 Wumper Coins, really. Uh, but um, there was this one person, one fella, in my Instagram DMs. You know who you are. He asked me to take a photo of the back of the case for an argument he was having <laughs> with someone else. And um, on the back of the case, it actually states that content may be available for purchase. And that, that's the day one case I have. And that's interesting. Activision had this planned all along, the cheeky bastards. <laughs> Um, I don't know, what, are, what else there is there to talk about? Um, the Spyro season next month, that's going to be really cool. And you, everyone in their right mind should be hyped for it because I have a feeling this will be, that will be one of the, I think it will be the best season in the uh, Crash Team Racing Grand Prix so far. I don't know, that's just me. Um, because I don't know if I like Spyro or Crash more. I don't know, Spyro to me was like more a PS1, the PS1 trilogy in Reignited. That's Spyro, everything else not really. Um, Crash though, you know, Wrath of Cortex was, well, it didn't do as well as we hoped, of course. That's a nice little reference for you. Twin Sanity and Nitro Car I liked. I'm gonna leave it here though. Enjoy the rest of the footage, even though there isn't much left. Give this video a like and a share, because it helps me out a lot. Definitely stay subbed with those notifications turned on, and I'll talk to you before you know it. See you later.